Dr. McKay has been my doctor, my heart doctor, for a, a long time, and he's watched it very, very closely every every time he asked me to come in for a, an appointment. And uh, finally, he said it was borderline time to do something. Mm -hmm. You know, we've done quite a bit of work on his heart uh, with, uh, you know, I think a big impact on his life. Uh, so over the years, we placed stents into his coronaries that uh, significantly improved the chest pain symptoms he was having. Um, but then in more recent um, you know, time, he developed symptoms of aortic stenosis, which is this valve problem. It's a fairly common age-related degeneration of your valve. Spike has been uh, a workaholic all his life um, since his uh, heart valve operation. He is now back cutting trees, splitting wood, working on tractors for the kids to ride in the yard, and he seems to be doing quite well. Fortunately, we were able to offer him uh, one of the early uh, procedures at this medical center um, involving TAVR and it was successful and you know we were uh, uh, lucky to see a uh, significant improvement in his quality of life and, and possibly in the length of his life. I can't say much because when I when he gave me the date to go in I went in and I was out and gone, and when I woke up, I never had any pain whatsoever. With conventional surgery, you're usually looking at six to eight weeks of healing time from a wound uh, down the middle of your sternum, uh, and with this procedure, uh, fortunately, the healing time is, is minimal. Um, if we can access uh, through the leg artery, which uh, is in the majority of cases, um, there's just a one centimeter or so incision in the groin area that heals very quickly. But what a blessing to be here in Bangor, Maine because Boston is a ways to go. I think it's important uh, that we're able to offer something like this relatively local. Uh, getting down to Boston and having a major procedure um, and then potentially dealing with other issues and complications that come up can be very difficult um, financially and emotionally for them. The people and everybody here have been awesome and if anybody's really contemplating having something done, I, I know previously he's had stents put in and they worked for a while and but when they did this uh, cow valve that made a big difference. So if anybody is thinking about should I or shouldn't I, if you want to feel a whole lot better, because he said if he had waited another couple of weeks, he said, I don't think I could have made it. Well, I kind of chuckled because Dr. McKay said, uh, at your age, he said, I can't guarantee anything. I said, that's no big deal. Let's go with it. Yeah. Because one of two things, Either he was going to take me home, or he was going to mm -hmm. need me down here still. Mm -hmm. And so I guess here I am. <laughs>